All right, round one we'll play first. Yeah, you can keep this. Actually, a pretty good hand. You get to go gear shift ace into countless gears renegade at worst, at best. Maybe gear shift ace into enforcer into siege modification. I don't know. Maybe that's a bit greedy. We'll see. We also have the inspired charge, which is a nice late game plan for our deck. Hog workers puzzle nut. All right, so we'll get in. Drop the renegade, the old grizzly bear, the old knight errant. Alley strangler. All right. Unfortunately, it does put a stop to our dudes, does it not? All right, so we could siege modification here. Um, yeah, it's reasonable. Let's us just get in for five. Opponent might just chump though, wouldn't they? Huh. Might make more sense to actually frontline rebel here, uh, because then we can put a siege modification on that. Basically, we want to, we definitely want to get the removal spells out of my opponent's hand. Well, let's play the Rebel, see what my opponent does. I did say you should be less worried about getting two for one, but our opponent does happen to be in two pretty removal-rich colors, plus they have a grip full of cards, so that makes me a little more concerned. Plus, like, since Frontline Rebel has to attack, I think it makes more sense to, um, if my opponent attacks with Strangler, I'm going to take it, I was going to say, yeah. Uh, so they have the mana up, ooh, it's actually a good draw. Um, I think we're just going to attack with the Rebel, though. Like, we could attack with the, the Renegade, too, but since my opponent's got four mana up, I'd rather just leave one of these options if we have to do it. Okay, so I imagine they have combat trick of some sort. Cruel finality. Um, okay. Okay. So, Precise Strike will not help me in this spot. That's all right. So, I guess we'll let our guy die, and then we'll play a... We could do the Artisan, but I kind of was hoping to get the Servo at some point for the charge, so I think I'm actually going to play the Enforcer. And then we'll pass. Um, the opponent put a card on top. Good to know. All right, I'm going to take it here. Mmm, hidden stockpile. Very good card. Um, what did they do with their... Oh, they didn't get to scry. That's right. They didn't sack a creature. That's okay. So, there's our inspired charge mana. I think we're just going to swing with everything here. Okay. Reasonable. Alley evasion is my guess. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So 
So now we want to play Glint Sleeve Artisan. And they put the card on top, so they found something they were looking for. Now we play the Artisan. We'll leave up the Precise Strike. We're going to spit out a Servo. And pass. Trying to set up for a nice Inspired Charge at some point. I don't mind Siege Modification on a Servo. I guess it depends on if my opponent has like a Bastion Macedon or something. But, uh, ooh, the old double hidden stockpile. I've seen this before. Yeah, that's a nasty little piece of synergy. I mean, thankfully we have a more developed board than our opponent, but... Hmm. Attacking with a servo. Oh, I'm going to block. I don't see a reason to not block here. Because if they have a combat trick, they would use it defensively anyway. Okay. So they just wanted me to give them the revolt trigger. Which I guess does make sense. Hmm. Well, I'm not too concerned about it. So, let's see here. I guess we just swing with everything. I don't think they have great blocks anyway. It's a good opportunity to use Inspired Charge. Okay, so let's charge it up, kill everything, deal some damage, do a bunch of stuff and things. I mean, this worked quite nicely for us. Got in a bunch of damage, they're left with one servo. We have Precise Strike, we have Chandra's Revolution, we can take care of big things, we can Siege Modification, we can get in for a lot of damage. Decommission is coming right in. <laughs> Okay, so they get two more. Now we revolution the salvager. I guess we'll leave a swamp tapped. Then we can bash with everything again. Well, losing all their servos is pretty awesome for us, since they're not going to be able to... They have to play another creature. They, they at least have to get a revolt going. So they get rid of some of our guys, but they're down to two. We have three creatures. We have Precise Strike. We have Siege Modification. We have another creature. They're down a mana. All of our guys are lethal. Okay, cool. So stole the game from the, the old double hidden stockpile, which is pretty awesome for us. Um, we're going to definitely bring in the decommission. So we'll bring that in. I guess we'll take out the precise strike. Although, wait, we didn't even play it that game, did we? So I guess that's fine. Yeah, we'll bring in the decommission. Uh, don't need the wrangle, especially with the quantity of tokens they have. Man, Chandra's Pyro Helix would do wonders in this matchup. Um, I think that's all we got, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll keep this hand. We're on the draw. Got a two drop at least. There's a modification. All right, all right, decommission, not bad. OK, 
can at least deal with the, we can nip that hidden stockpile right in the bud. And believe you me, I will not take a turn off. Cruel finality, okay. I guess that does in fact work. Take a little servo damage. Untap. Ooh, automaton. All right. Cool. Play that dude. Pass. He's just itching to get a little modification put on him. All right, Strangler, so I think the play is to Revolution here. It makes better use of mana. We also get to keep them potentially locked out of white so they can't even crack their puzzle knot. Plus, we get two damage in, so seems good. Plus, you want to save the Thopter Arrest for something real spicy you can't deal with. And as we hoped... Kept them off of white, so regardless of what they play, pretty good chance we're just going to mod it up here. Do a little modification. All right, let's mod it up. Get her in with our little Sarah Angel here. Force him to deal with the automaton. Well, deal with it, they did. So, unfortunately for us, that was a real good way to deal with it. So they had the requisite removal. No follow-up play, though, which is good. Ooh, Harpooner, if only. If only we could get a Revolt Trigger here. Uh, so what do we want to do? We can go Artisan as a 3-3, and then maybe our opponent will sack to the Salvager, and then we can set up an arrest of some sort. Um, all right, let's do that. We don't need the extra token yet since we don't even have the inspired charge, nor do we even have an army if we were to get the charge. So let's just make a 3-3. This at least puts our opponent in a position where they're going to sorcery speed, sack something. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Well, I don't have any combat tricks, really. That's tough. If I don't block, I take four, I go to ten. And we know... And the only way to play around the combat trick next turn would be to block a servo and then decommission after they use a combat trick of some sort. I'm not in love with it. It does feel like blocking here is a mistake. If they're willing to attack with everything, then even if they have Inspire Charge, we're not dead. I guess I'm going to take it. Not thrilled about this, by the way. Another salvager, okay. So I wouldn't mind drawing a land. Well, eagles actually. Something we're going to do. I could have left up the decommission, but I think we actually need this eagle. So I guess we'll attack in. Maybe it's impeccable timing. Oh, well, that's not going to do anything. Cool. 
So you gained some life, and now I'm fine. I think they maybe thought they could... I think they maybe thought they could sack at any time. Um, I think we're actually going to go to 7 here. I have the Thopter arrest. And the artisan is kind of keeping things at bay for me. Hmm. Night market lookout, I see. One card left in our opponent's hand. Ooh, gear shift days. Not bad either. All right, let's play the arrest. Get rid of the salvager. Um, attack with the eagle. Play the ace. And pass. Hope of Giraper. Okay. All right. Um, I think we actually double block here. It's not a huge deal because it's still a two for two. It might, it's, I think we're actually ending up with the better end of this, right? Because they sack a card, they lose a card, they lose half of another card. So I feel like we're actually ending up ahead on this. Night market lookout. I see. Well, sometimes you just need a gray ogre to hold down the fort. No reason to caught in the brights this yet, I don't think. All right, so now we can decommission that. This could work exceptionally well for us. Okay. So we can do it during their post-combat main phase, right? And then they won't get the servo. Okay. So I don't want to do it now because it might affect their scry. We want to do it after their scry. They put it on the bottom. So now during their post... Well, I guess we can just do it now then. Well. Well, let's wait till post-combat. Okay. Now we decommission. Get rid of that. Workshop assistant, which could get back a cog worker's puzzle knot. Well, that's nothing to be alarmed about. Could have attacked with the harpooner too, I guess. No, because then they would have blocked and gotten back their puzzle knot. All 
Okay. Well, that's okay. Yeah, this is actually fine. So we're caught in the brights to salvager, and then they have to block with their servo. Oh, they got both? All right. Well, that's okay. We're we basically we're just getting their servos off the board. Well, if all right. Well, ended up stealing the game there, which is nice. Opponent had a pretty cool deck, though. The multiple hidden stockpiles with the salvagers. Pretty good removal. Well, decent removal, I guess. Extraction's good. Cruel Finality. I don't know how I feel about this card yet. I think some people swear by it. Maybe I just haven't given it enough of a chance. But I, I still remain a little bit slightly unimpressed with Cruel Finality. Mostly because it's in black. So I think the goal, the standard... The expectation of removal that I have for black is much higher than maybe it needs to be. Maybe the scry one on this is much better than I'm giving it credit for. They also had a rush of vitality, which I like. So, okay. I'm glad we could take down the black-white value deck. We'll see round two.